Good morning, everybody. I am so excited, humbled, and honored to be in front of you today. I will say I am so thrilled to see so many future Alder Creek Coyotes in the crowd. Coyotes. Coyotes. So excited. So I just had the opportunity to share with someone that I've actually never um, been to an official ribbon cutting for a school. I have been to one ribbon cutting at a Chili's. Um, so um, I have just a few words on, on this note card that I want to make sure to, to share. And, and I'll, I'm going to read from the card because I want to make sure I don't leave any of the most important and special people here. We've already honored our students. Um, but I, I would like, again, to extend my heartfelt gratitude um, to our Board of Trustees. You've met most of them today, but all of our parents and our educators and our city officials, our architects, our builders, and our own SUSD amazing facilities and maintenance and operation teams in making sure that an ambitious vision was created into this work of art that is behind me today. So I just wanted to say thank you for all that. It is so many things have to go right for a community to be able to celebrate uh, such a great facility. But what's most important about the facility is thinking about all of the young people who are going to start and continue to chase their dreams while learning at this school, not only next year, but for many, many years to come. So we are at the district very excited to hand the keys over to our amazing principal, Sarah Prenzen, who is right here to my left. Woo Before we get to a tour, I think there's a tour for today. Um, I, I'm very confident we wouldn't all have this opportunity if it wasn't for the incredible leadership and stewardship of the recently, re, recently retired Dr. Sarah Kaligian. So Sarah, I would love for you to come say a few words as well. Thank you, Superintendent Swanson. Good morning. It is such an honor to be joining you here today as recently retired superintendent and a very proud community member. I look amongst this crowd and I just see faces of joy and hope and dreams that we want to make a reality here at Alder Creek Elementary. You know, it, many thanks go out, as you heard earlier, to create this beautiful school. It really does take a village. And first and foremost, I do want to thank our board members, current and former board members, including our student board members, who had a say in the design of the school, but also the naming of the school. I recently ran into one of our student board members in the community, and we were talking about the ribbon cutting here for Alder Creek. And she was so pleased to say that she was part of the naming of the school and the future of this community. That's the impact we want to have on all of our students and our families here in Folsom, Cordova. I also want to um, share thanks and gratitude to Superintendent Swanson and his staff, who I know are amazing as well, to Chief Operational Officer Matt Washburn and your team. You have made another dream become a reality. You continue to work the magic, Matt, and your team. Thank you so much. And this dream wouldn't become a reality without the partnership of our architects from HMC and our construction team from Roblin Construction. Round of applause for that team for this beautiful school. And to you, the community, the families, those that are living south of 50 and passed the Measure M bond many years ago to make this beautiful school become a reality, thank you to you as well. To Principal Sarah Perenzen, to the teachers, support staff, leadership, families, congratulations and welcome to this new school. You know, there were many significant milestones leading up to today's special milestone event. The first one to recall was May 2023, and we were in the back 40 of this open field, which is the, the playground now, and we were doing a formal groundbreaking ceremony under tents um, at that time. And we were talking about the vision of this new school. We saw the renderings and oh my gosh, it's, it's much more beautiful in person. So uh, that was the first milestone. And then May 2023, we did something in Folsom Cordova we hadn't done before. 
we did a beam raising and signing ceremony. And we did that out here and it signified that the tallest foundation piece had been laid safely by the collective efforts of the men and women from the different trades that made this school a reality. Um, and that was a very special and significant event. And we got to sign the beam, that's that highest point of this structure. And it is the foundation of this beautiful school. We also um, got to affix a tree, an evergreen tree at the top of that beam. And you might say, well, what's the significance of a tree? Well, the tree, according to what I learned at that time from our partners from Roblin, was that it signifies growth and endless opportunities. And that education really is the bedrock for a thriving society. And that is true in Folsom Cordova, no matter what school you step onto, how important education is. And then that brings us here to today, August 2nd, 2024, ribbon cutting before the August 8th uh, opening of this school year. So um, all of this to say that We've got a beautiful school, but the most important piece and how we measure the, the success of this school today, a year from now and in the future, is what happens within these four walls. And what happens within these four walls happens because of the people and the relationships that are happening here. It happens with the youth of our, our community, our families, our teachers, our support staff, our leadership, our district team. And that's where the magic is going to continue to happen. So congratulations to all those that are becoming part of this new school family. Welcome to the family. Welcome, Coyotes. Have a wonderful school year. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Um, we have some very important people, and as it was mentioned, this is not done alone. It's done in community. And is City of Folsom Mayor Mike Kozlowski here? Oh, there you are. I was sitting right next to him. Please come on up to the podium. We would love for you to say a few words. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, so a uh, couple of things that came to mind when I came here. Um, Elementary schools are really unique buildings in the world. They're super special, and um, I, I'm an architect and I got a chance to work on a few projects, um, and actually lots of projects of all shapes and sizes. Um, but the, the time I got to work on an elementary school, it occurred to me that for your kids, this is the building that they're gonna spend the most time in, maybe in their entire life, separate from your house, right? Um, so they will get to know all the nooks and crannies. I, you know, many, many years later, my elementary school, there was one little spot by the janitor closet at the bottom of the stairs where we used to go hang out, and I can remember what it smelled like and exactly what it was like, what the lighting was like, all the way till this day. So um, I, am, I am jealous of you kids that you get to have such a spectacular facility to make those kind of memories in. Um, but as, as mayor of the city of Folsom, um, the school district is magnificent. It makes my job really easy to help attract businesses and new families to town um, because we have all kinds of amenities, but most importantly, we deliver amazing, excellent education from our school district. So um, to everybody that gets this opportunity, um, elementary school buildings are really important, but the elementary school experience is the other thing I just, you know, reflected on as I came here. Um, this is the place where your kids will make lifelong friendships. And you parents, I'm especially jealous of you because you will make lifelong friendships with the other parents that are here. Um, take advantage of that. That's how we build a strong community here in Folsom is by knowing each other and working together and uh, making our kids strong and smart. So. Um, congratulations to everybody. Thank you to the school district for inviting me to be here. Um, and on behalf of the city council, um, Anna and YK are here. Um, any others that are here, um, congratulations and thank you. Thank you. We truly are fortunate to have the strong leadership and support of our city 
and also of our area. So at this time, I would really also like to invite Senator Roger Nilo to come up and address the crowd. Thank you. Thank you very much. One of the really cool things about uh, being elected your state senator is uh, being able to participate in really neat events uh, like this one. The uh, city of Folsom is extremely well served by the Folsom Cordova School District, uh, as you all well know, and the uh, residents of, of uh, Folsom are always a participatory and enthusiastic group, and you can measure that by how difficult it is to find a parking place. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I do have uh, a small token to recognize what is a really big deal, uh, the opening of the uh, Alder Creek School that will well serve uh, this area of the city of Folsom, and I thank the district very much for doing that. Exciting, and we are going to get to a ribbon cutting and a tour in a minute. But before we do that, there are a couple of folks that I really want to make sure you get a chance to hear from. And one of those is our Chief Operations Officer, Matt Washburn, who's going to talk about some of the construction and the elements of the design of our beautiful building. Thank you and good morning. What an exciting day this is. Um, I, I can't tell you how exciting all the hard work and everything that goes into it, it makes it all worth it. I was just walking through this school and talking to some teachers and the looks on their faces and the excitement and, and the brand new environment, it, it, it just it energizes me. And, and this is why we do what we do. We forget about all the other stuff. This is the time to celebrate and be happy about what we do. We started this journey over nine years ago trying to find a school that would uh, emulate the future of what education was going to be like. The educational concepts. Um, this school was planned with small learning spaces, greater flexibility. We had safety in mind. Uh, a single building, two story, single entrance. Uh, learning happens everywhere. Small learning spaces within the entire environment. So kids can learn from the graphics. They can learn from everything. We have writing spaces everywhere. It's just such an exciting facility to be a part of, and we want to continue this type of educational concept throughout so students can change with the uh, ever-changing environment throughout the years. Um, words cannot go into how many people were involved with this and as I mentioned there was a lot of people that were a part of this and I'm going to go through and mention a few of them. We had great collaboration all the way from our developers, city, state agencies. There's a lot of work that goes into putting a, a facility like this together. Um, as mentioned the design team, um, HMC, and former uh, RGA staffers who were involved with this project. Uh, Jeff Graw, principal architect. Ronnie Bird, architect. Suzanne Saki, she's interior designer. Jillian Agosa, who was responsible for all the graphics you see in this building. Kevin Hall, and managing principal. Also want to point out Terry Jamison, who was the uh, former RGA staffer and HMC and district consultant and had a big part of this facility as well. Also, the, the contracting team. What a great team that was assembled for this project. To have a school that's completed on time, on schedule, ready to go, teachers will are able to get in their classrooms early and get set up. I mean, that's a blessing. You don't realize how difficult it is to plan to get stuff ready and to have them in on time. That is, that is an amazing feat. And I really, really want to congratulate them. Starting at the top with Ken Winham, President and CEO, Rob McLean, Executive VP, Adam Villacar, President, Vice President, Marsha Perry Tars, VP, and Doug Nelson, Senior VP. Um, the, the team that was out here, that was the nuts and bolts of the project. And that started with Carlos Parades, he was the Senior Project Manager, 
Jerry Holcomb, Senior Superintendent, Kevin Sines, Assistant Project Manager, Kaylin Lane, Project Engineer, Andrew Atkinson, Quality Control Manager, and Sam Frias, Senior Forum. Give them all a round of applause. They did a great job. And behind all those is their trade contractors, all the engineers and everybody else who was involved with it as well. So many to name. Um, we also, there's other people involved. We had Division State Architect Inspector Matt Gary, who's been with us a long time, who made sure this project was developed. We have our commissioning agent who made sure that everything is run and installed properly, 3QC with James Becker and Tracy Jenkins. We have our special testing inspection lab. I bet you guys didn't really have so many different people who had to be involved with it, getting a project through. Uh, Young Dahl, who was our partner throughout this. Let's give those a round of applause as well. And then support of staff. It goes without saying, it starts with the Board of Trustees and their unwavering support of this educational concept in the school that we have before us. Um, Eric Swanson, who's come on, and, you know, his many years, oh, wait a minute, you just started, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Eric supported this. Obviously, the former superintendent, Sarah Collegian, who maintained this vision all the way through. Sean Martin, our assistant super for business. Jim Huber, assistant super for uh, him, our uh, educational services. Um, Don Ogden, our human uh, services uh, assistant soup, and uh, Angie Carlo Magno, our director of curriculum and instruction. Also, Sarah Perenson, who was involved with planning of this, was with awesome help on this project. And then other people, we have our IT and network people, David Stone and Chile. And especially, I want to recognize my facility staff. All of you were great and wonderful, especially Mike Hammond, who is our project manager. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm excited for you guys to see the facility and I'm excited for a great school year. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Before we have our principal say a few words, cut the ribbon and take a tour, I want to invite up to the podium our Board of Trustee Vice President, Jennifer Larratt. Say a few words on behalf of our board. I will keep my comments brief because we have some little coyotes that are very excited to enter this building. Um, but what an exciting day. What an amazing way to start a school year. Um, I was a student at Oak Chan when it first opened. And I can tell you that as a student who was in a new school and as a family that was in a new school, that we have a unique opportunity to create a culture that will last decades and generations. And I'm so excited that we have the families and the students that we have that are gonna be able to build that culture that's gonna be inclusive and be a standard of excellence in education. And I'm so thrilled for all of you guys to be here today. Um, on behalf of the board, we cannot like thank the community enough for their support in this project. Um, it's going to be an amazing um, opportunity for this community to like work, learn, and play here. And we are very excited for our little coyotes to come in and to see this amazing building and to see all the opportunities of what can be. So thank you so much for being here today. We really appreciate it, and we are very excited to start the school here this next week. Thank you. And now may I introduce the very first principal of Alder Creek. Now the day has finally come when we get to share that dream with you. Over the past seven months, I've had the extreme honor and challenge of putting together an all-star team of educators and support staff who have a heart for students, a heart for service, and who are all exceptional in their craft. We're at 60 staff members and counting, and I'm confident that we've built a team and a culture where the students and families of Alder Creek can grow and thrive. I want to invite you as community members and families to partner with us in our mission and vision to educate and empower lifelong learners. We know it takes a village and we welcome your participation and involvement. We can't wait to see you again next week at our first annual Coyote Call on Monday and then on the first day of school, Thursday, August 8th. In the coming weeks, you'll hear more about other ways to get involved by joining School Site Council, PTA, or becoming parent volunteers. 
As you tour the campus today, please keep in mind that we're still putting some finishing touches on a few things. While we have all, all of the basics, like desks and chairs, we're still waiting on some of our fun, colorful furniture, as well as our library collection. The great thing is you'll get to see it all come together these first few weeks of school. You'll also notice the design of the school allows for collaboration of students and staff. So today you'll see teachers working diligently in their classrooms with their grade level teams to prepare for the first day of school. You'll see an open concept with large collaboration spaces. I also want you to notice the incredible graphics throughout our school. The theme is ecosystems. So see if you can guess which ecosystem is being highlighted in each wing. I also want you to look for hidden coyotes, our school mascot, as you walk around. There are so many incredible details. I will warn you that it, it will be difficult to take it all in today. I think I can speak on behalf of the entire Alder Creek staff that we are extremely honored and excited about this opportunity to serve the students and families of Alder Creek. We look forward to meeting each and every one of you. Here's to an amazing school year. Go Yotes! All right, are you ready? All right, count down with me. Five, four, three, two, one! Oh, that's wonderful, okay. Two more instructions, I know I keep that.